Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are talking about one and done eyeshadow singles. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So as many of you may know, I'm a makeup artist and also esthetician, and I now offer an online beauty consulting service, which is where you get to talk to me one-on-one -on -one about your beauty concerns. Whether you want to go over the current makeup collection you already own, and you have questions about placement or combination, or if you want some advice about buying some new products but you don't want that sales pressure, the benefit of my service is I don't work for any brand in particular, I work for myself. So I'll just give you my best advice. So to make an appointment for yourself today, click the link in the description box down below. All right, let's go ahead and go into my list of one and dones. So I did go ahead and curate this list because I do have some one and done shadows, but I wanna focus on the ones that are my favorite and I think would serve you the best. So you apply, you blend, a hit of mascara and liner and that's it. All right, let's go ahead and start off with some Armani. These are liquid eyeshadows. I'm going to have a combination of liquid powder and also some stick eyeshadows because I think that the stick eyeshadows are often overlooked in the one and done category. All right, Armani, number nine, cold copper. This is a beautiful wash of color. It's not too cool tone, not too warm tone. It really just gives you that perfect brightness to your eyelid. It looks very wet. It looks beautiful. It does have more of a intense finish because it is a liquid, but this you can blend it out very easily. When you blend these out and when they're still wet, you do get a less intense finish. And this just looks like a liquid molten kind of gold, but like a neutral gold. It's not too warm, not too cool. It's just a really beautiful color. And if you want something easy, just on your lid, liner, mascara, out the door. And I really love the applicator wand of these liquid eyeshadows because there's a slit in the center of the applicator, so you don't pick up too much product. I've never had to wipe off any excess. I just pick it up and apply it like that. It's really a beautiful product here. Now, we also have Scarab because as far as I'm concerned, one and done shadows don't necessarily have to be neutrals. I do have a lot of neutrals, but they can also be more intense colors. And this is a beautiful dark forest green. This is a beautiful, rich color, and you can get this super intense, super dark look. You could create the fastest smoky eye with this, just apply it on top, a little bit on the bottom as liner, and that's it. You can blend this out to be a little bit less intense if you wanted to, but it's just such a beautiful, intense shade. And I wanted to make sure that I included this shade here or both of these because this formula is really fantastic. So many of you told me about how great they were and I'm so glad that I did because once these dry down, they really just set. You do need makeup remover to take these off. You don't have to worry about them smudging or creasing or fading away. They are locked and loaded for the day. Okay, moving on to some Bobbi Brown. I have some shadows here that I think have been neglected by the beauty community, and these are their sparkle eyeshadows. So my favorite color in this whole series has to be Allspice. It gives you bronzy, warm gold copper. It does have color, like don't be too scared by the sparkle shadow aspect. It does have lots of sparkle. It does have a little bit of glitter but it also has a lot of color, like these are opaque, and you can just swipe these on to give you a nice wash of color with some sparkle as well. Allspice is so beautiful, it just catches the light and just really gives you a look that looks much more complicated than it actually is, and it's really fun. Now in contrast to this, we also have Silver Lilac, which is super cool toned, and depending on the light, it catches a little bit of gold and some pink, and it's just so pretty. It's so lovely, and I swear, when you just wash this on your lid, it looks more complicated than it actually is. People will compliment you, they'll ask you where you got your makeup done, 
and all you did was just swipe on a little bit of sparkle because you know what? Some days you just need a little bit of extra sparkle. Now that I'm looking at silver pink, I'm realizing I need to wear this more often. And now that it's summer, I have an even better excuse. Something about the warmer months makes me want to wear more sparkly makeup. So I will keep this on my top drawer. Now, if you like Bobbi Brown, but you want something maybe a little bit less sparkly, I got you covered. These are their shadow sticks, and I have the color called Golden Pink. The Long Wear Cream Shadow Sticks in Golden Pink is very much a beautiful champagne color. This is going to be much less intense than the two that I showed earlier. More wearable, I guess, for every day for the office. Just like a quick swipe, a little pat, mascara, and you're done. I like this golden champagne color because it does brighten the eye. If you wanted to go even more simple, you could just take this a little bit in the inner corner and a little bit under the brow bone and that's it. You wouldn't even have to do a full eye. You could just tap it here, tap it there, and then put on mascara. It could be that simple. This one here is really great and more understated, a little bit less sparkly and intense. All right, let's move on to some Chanel. And the first items here are powder. So I have a combination of liquid, cream, and powder singles here. Now, this is called Vibrant Violet because as I stated, just because it's a one and done doesn't mean it can't be colorful. This is a beautiful, vibrant violet shade. It's very true to its name. The finish isn't completely matte, but it's not a chunky glitter. It's not sparkly. It's a soft satin. It's a mix between a soft satin and a very soft matte. So it's going to be more wearable, less glittery and sparkly than some of the other ones that I mentioned today. But if you're looking for a one and done that's going to give you some punch and some color, I think this vibrant violet could be it. And if you wanted to add a little bit of color on the inner corner, you could go in with the Bobbi Brown shadow stick just to highlight inner corner and the brow, but that's up to you. If you wanted to, you could sheer this out and make it less intense. It doesn't have to be a smoky purple eye. Like if you wanna make a smoky eye that's purple, you can do it with this. But you could also white, like wash it out a little bit just to make it more wearable. And these whole, like this whole series here, the Ombre Première from Chanel, are these like long lasting single eyeshadows. And I think they often get neglected and they're just really wonderful. Now, the second one here, Talpa definitely calls more for the neutral everyday. This is very easy to wear, office appropriate. I like to give you options of like colorful and then more neutral everyday because I know that people, like different people have different tastes. So I think Talpa is definitely more simple. Like you probably don't have to blend it as much. You could just go in with your finger and just press it onto your lid and that's it. It's a really lovely color. In the pan, it looks more cool toned, but then when I swatch it, it kind of gives me a little bit more of a warm undertone, but it's a really beautiful, like just neutral color that has a nice satin finish. It's in that same Ombre Première finish uh, collection, so it's just a really great color. Now moving on to cream shadow, we have silver pink here from Chanel, which does remind me a little bit more of Talpa in that like kind of neutral territory that gives you a little bit of a satin finish, but not like a chunky glitter. I think this is a really beautiful color if you like cream more than powder. The only thing is these Ombre Première, the cream finish ones, I find that they don't last as long as the powders. Like you really have to make sure that you seal this shut really well because these do dry out. Like I don't remember how long these are supposed to last for. You're supposed to use these up in 18 months. I don't even know if this will still be good in 18 months. You know, like it really can dry out very easily. So if you do get these, make sure that you squeeze them tight closely. But while you are enjoying them, you know, maybe take advantage of them when you first buy them, keep using and reusing them so they don't go bad or dry up because they do give you a beautiful finish. And I think silver pink is really lovely. I think it's a funny name, silver pink, because it doesn't really pull silver or pink too much on me. It's just a really beautiful neutral. 
Now moving on to the Ombre Première Lac, which is the Chanel version of a liquid eyeshadow. And this shade here, Rayon, has to be my favorite color. I've had Rayon since it first came out, so I think two years now. And it gives me a little bit of the Armani Cold Copper. This just like super wet, molten, beautiful color. This is very easy to apply. And I have to say that I've owned this for a couple of years now and it isn't drying out. So that could be good to keep in mind if you're debating or debating between the cream versus liquid eyeshadows from Chanel. I think the new formula of the liquid eyeshadows is a little bit better if you want to keep this in your collection for longer. I think rayon is a little bit blinding, but it's very pretty and it just gives you that beautiful wash of color and a lot of brightness to the eye as well. Now we also have Quartz Rose, which definitely pulls more pink. So if you like a more pinky one and done look, this is definitely for you. One thing to uh, remind yourself of, these liquid eyeshadows from Chanel, these are waterproof. So do one eye at a time and this goes for i think every cream or liquid eyeshadow that i'm talking about today do one eye at a time like one swipe blend if you have to because these dry in place so if you just do one swipe and then one swipe and start blending over here you're going to be stuck with whatever shape you have over here these stay in place all day which is fantastic but don't answer the phone or go make some coffee because you will be stuck with whatever shape you swipe on. Now, if you're looking for a little bit more color and a little bit more intensity, we have Desert Wind, which I think is a perfect answer to a taupey color. This is definitely like a one and done office look, like swipe, blend, off you go. And I like these because when you first apply them wet, they do look very intense because they're wet. But as they dry down, that intense liquid molten effect kind of dampens down a little bit. So they're a bit more wearable but they will have a finish that's similar to a satin finish like these ones here are not matte so they will have a little bit of brightness and satin finish but not like a chunky glitter and then last but not least from chanel we have rising sun which is a beautiful warm tone orangey color so just depending on your skin tone depending on how fair or dark your skin tone is i think these have a lot of good options for you and i think that this is a beautiful color because i think for some people one and done means like the most neutral shade possible but i like when there's a bit of color when there's like a little bit of something something there and these are one and done because that's today's video but a lot of these cream, um, liquid, everything here can be layered with something else if you want something a bit more intense. And I just think that these are really great options, especially because I've owned them for a few years and they still perform just as well as the day that I first bought them, which is always a great indicator. The only difference is like these ones here, the wand is not as amazing as the Armani ones. This is like a regular doe foot applicator, which is good, but I find that sometimes I do have to wipe off the excess, which is like a little bit annoying. I just think that the engineering with the Armani liquid eyeshadows is like a little bit better. Now moving on to some Chantecai. Now Chantecai has a whole series of luminescent eyeshadows and these are single eyeshadows. I have almost all of them and I think that they're all amazing. Like they're all beautiful, the finish, the formula, excellent. It's really just a question of personal taste. So today I'm wearing the shade Lion. So what I did with Lion is I wet my brush, I dipped it in here, I applied it on the lid, I blended it up, I took a little bit on the bottom lashes here, and that is this look. It looks much more complicated. It looks like there's different colors, lots of blending. It's incredibly easy, and I think this is a beautiful shade for the summer. It gives you that like J.Lo, golden goddess look, but it's very, very simple. I added some liner and mascara, and that's it. Now, if you wanted this color to be less intense, I would recommend going in with your finger. So just take a little bit of the color and then apply it on or pat it on. You will get that same beautiful golden shade, but just maybe less intense. And like I said, it's such a great shade for summer and these luminescent eye shades were really meant for one and done makeup. And of course, if we're talking about Shantikai single eyeshadows, I personally have to mention Pangolin. 
This is described as a dusky lilac and it is incredibly accurate. It's this beautiful purpley, pinky, dusky color. And because of the nature of the finish, it really always looks like you have the most complicated, complex makeup when all you did was use one color. This is the one and done shadow, but very extra. It is so beautiful, so flattering, and depending on the light, it's a little bit of this color, a little bit of that color. So if you want one and done, but you want extra, you don't want like a nude or a neutral, I would go with Pangolin, but if you want something a bit more safe and a bit easier, like not safe, but Pangolin is a dusky lilac. Maybe not for everyone. If you want something a bit more neutral, maybe Lion. It's definitely warmer and better for the summer months, but honestly, I think Pangolin or Lion or literally any of these other luminescent eye shades from Shotsukai are fantastic. Okay, let's move on to some Charlotte Tilbury and specifically her eyeshadow sticks. I believe these are called her Color Chameleon Shadow Sticks and you can actually shop for these depending on your eye color. If you want to, you don't have to, you can buy whatever you want. But if you're unsure about what color to get, they actually have a guide for which eye color goes with which color here. And my absolute favorite one is called Dark Pearl. I am wearing this down to the nub. I tried to pan this last year. I had a very ambitious project pan. Uh, I, I actually finished some products, but some of the products are still lingering, but I am using it up. So Dark Pearl is a beautiful cool tone shade. And oftentimes with brown eyes, we think of pairing it with warm tone shades, but a nice cool tone like this is so beautiful. It gives me a little bit of cool, a little bit of pink or purple in there. It's a little bit mysterious depending on like the angle that you're looking at and you can blend these out. These are waterproof and long wearing, again, one eye at a time because these do stay in place all day. And these can also be perfect for eyeliner. It's a little bit like of a thick pencil shadow, but you can use it as eyeliner as well. And this is a very, very beautiful one and done. And again, one of those items that I think is underrated in the one and done categories. A second shade for you to consider is Amber Haze, which is a warm tone bronzy color. These are very reminiscent of the Shantikai colors I just showed you, but maybe just in different tones or different intensities. And they are a little bit easier to wear because they are a pencil. You can just apply it. You don't have to dip your brush in. Maybe a little bit less messy, but they're just really great. And they have a bunch of other colors too. Um, I just think that these often get overlooked and they're very convenient and wonderful to wear. All right, moving on, we have some single eyeshadows here from Dior. Now, this is the older formula. I know that Dior has come out with some brand new single eyeshadows. I don't have them yet. I plan on getting them, but these are part of the older formula here. Now, here we have front row, which very much gives me that sort of like slate, cool tone shade, a hint of purple, a hint of blue, a hint of gray. It's very cool toned. And this is a satin finish formula, but there's barely like a hint of glitter or anything like that. It's really just like a soft satin finish. And so if you are seeing these glitter formulas and you are having strong aversions, I think this might be a better formula for you because it'll be softer and not a hint of glitter anywhere in this shade here anyway. Now we have minimalism, which is that very cool toned gray, like a, yeah, a slate gray, but compared to the first one, it doesn't have any purple or blue or anything like that. So if you want something just really simple, I think minimalism is for you. I'm just saying they called that shade minimalism for a good reason. So now we have one last shade here to talk about, and this is from Sisley. This is called Silky French Blue, and it is exactly that. It is this beautiful cobalt blue color. It has that satin finish, no chunky glitter, just like a beautiful illuminated satin finish. So it's not going to be too dark. 
You could make this a smoky eye if you wanted to. You could blend it out. I think that if you're interested in wearing more colorful looks, stepping away from the neutrals, sometimes going in with a single eyeshadow is a better idea than a palette or a quad or a quint or whatever because it's less complicated. You just have one shadow and it's, yeah, just less complicated. You don't have to have four blue shades, just one will do. Because of the finish of this shadow, it gives you that little shift, a little bit of a lift, so it's not just going to be a dark matte blue, and it will give you that effect that it looks like you're wearing three or four colors or shadows, but you're really only wearing one. So I highly recommend these single colors like the Sisley, the Chantecai, even the Chanel purple one. If you want to dip into some color, but you don't want to invest in a whole palette of shades, go with like one single colorful shadow. Okay guys, this is my roundup of my current favorite single eyeshadows, my one and done. So let me know in the comments what you think. When it comes to single eyeshadows, are you a cream, a liquid, or a powder type of makeup lover? Let us know in the comments. If you're new to my channel, please take the time to subscribe and you can also hit that notification bell on the side so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Let me know in the comments as well what other colors I should pick up. So for example, the Sisley shade I love completely and I do plan on getting more colors, but let me know which shades I should try in the future and I definitely want to try some of the new Dior single eyeshadows. It's just when I saw the ones available, they looked like repeats of the shades available in a lot of the quints that I already have. So let me know what other single eyeshadow brands or colors I should try in the future. And on that note, I think this is it. I think this is all I have for today's video. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.